your story kind of reads like Steve Jobs in a lot of ways because he was in the same position where he yeah. co-founded a company. The board down the road said, eh, we don't need you <laughs> to get rid yeah. of you. Yeah. And then Jobs came back. Um, and you, but you chose to, so it's, the story is interesting because in the book, it, it, it details that there was a story, uh, there was a documentary produced by Mark Wahlberg, which was going to be the rise and fall of movie pass. And then along the way, years later, after you left, they told you, Hey, Stacy, you could buy it back if you wanted to. Yeah. It's, you know, it's in bankruptcy. What, what made you decide to buy it back? Because you had already started working on pre-show, I believe. Yeah. So what made yeah. you decide to go back to movie pass? Cause some people might have just, what push that aside and, and went another direction. Kev, you did your homework, man. I don't think you uh, <laughs> you de- <laughs> you read everything. Uh, yeah. You got great. I'm, I'm I got my book over here. I'm like, did that really happen? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I try uh, to do my best. Yeah. No, you you got great. Um, so yeah, the the what had happened was the uh, Mark Wahlberg production company decide to make a documentary that's supposed to come out at the top of next year on HBO. And um, what was interesting was they were interviewing certain people and they said, hey, we just heard that in the bankruptcy filings, no one bought movie pass. And, and one of the producers like, wouldn't that be crazy if you bought it back? And I was like, ha ah, ah, ha, ah, come on. Now. And the minute we hung up the phone, I was like, do, 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 do. I was like, hello, um, and found out that in fact it was not purchased. I put in a bid, and the bid got accepted, and so bought the company back. Yeah. What is that process like? Because we hear about companies, people who buy bankrupt companies before. Like, is that a long process, or do you, what's the what's the levels of that? Yeah, it, it was easier and trickier than I thought. So easy is you you basically um, put in a bid. Um, it's an open bid. And so they can, someone can counter your offer. So the, the, what they do is they publish, vi- there is an offer by this company to buy this entity. Is there any objections or any competitive bids? So they'll list that online or in a newspaper somewhere where the general public can see it. And then anyone who wants to can competitively bid and or object. So let's say I was a slumlord and I was a building in the bankruptcy. And someone said, hey, he's a terrible slumlord. Don't let him buy it. And, and in, the, in the public good, if I'm one of the competitive bidders against someone who has a really good record, they may turn around and even if that person is at a low level, they may give that win that bid to the person who has a better track record of how they treated them righteous. So you have a public statement that anyone who wants to speak out against the purchase can. And you have to wait for 21 days for either of those things to happen. And um and the bidding process is like a once they counter, they don't tell you where they countered, but you need to exceed their counter by a certain level. So it kind of prevents you from really knowing it, it helps move the price up because that money is going to go back to pay any, any creditors or debts that that company created. And um, so that was the process and you wait for 21 days and then a the judge either grants or or grants it to you or grants it to someone else. And you you find out at that moment and after 21 days, we got a call from the courts and they said, you won the the bid and you get it back. Because you have to put your you have to put a portion of your money in escrow. If you mm-hmm. collapse the if you run away from the deal, they keep that escrow. I think you have to put 20 or 30 percent in escrow. And so then you pay the balance off and that's the process. 